What's up, guys? It's Codex, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Today, we're taking a look at how to unlock the Great Rune for Rykar. So, this Great Rune you unlock for beaten Rykar. I'll give you a show right here. Uh, Rykar's Great Rune it restores HP upon attacking enemies. Very nice. And Rykar is going to be up at uh, Mount Gilmar, which is just to the west of our current location. Up in here, Rykar, the Lord of Blasphemy. And to activate his great ruin, it's going to be a little bit of a secret to get in there. And we're going to start by coming right here at the outer wall phantom tree. And what you're going to want to do is head directly east from this grace. And you're going to want to get down into a little uh, pond water right here, the little moat. And we're going to be entering a cave. Now, that cave has a ton of secrets. That cave is uh, filled with hidden walls, and one of those hidden walls is actually going to lead to a boss, and just beyond that boss, you're going to be able to get to the Divine West Tower of Altus. And I'm just going to just keep jumping all the way down here. Gotta love those land poison bomb guys and the giant mosquitoes. Giant mosquitoes are a real thing here in Canada. By real thing, I mean they just like to eat you alive in the summer. <laughs> So down in here, you want to come down all the way in to this mine. This is going to be the start of our adventure. You want to make sure you grab this grace right here. And this is the sealed tunnel. Now there are enemies in the sealed tunnel. They uh, can hurt, I guess. But we're looking for a hidden tunnel. And I do apologize, guys. It always takes me a hot minute to remember where this is. I believe it's down right over here. I don't know why I thought I was lucky. I thought I saw some guy chasing me. I was down here recently, so there should be an elevator right here. We're just going to call it up. And we're going to ride it down. Looks like there's a hidden ledge up there. And we're going to squeeze through the roots here. Now, if there wasn't roots here, guys, if you don't see anything, there's a hidden wall right here. Secret passage. So again, because I've already been down here, the passage is going to be weird for me. So that's another reason why I'm showing you guys the entire tunnel is to make sure you guys see all the landmarks and are able to get to where the secret tunnels are. So you're going to keep coming through down here. You're going to hop along. You want to make sure you kill these guys because they'll just keep... They're like little anchor biters. They'll just keep coming and coming. And we want to get onto the other side of here. Watch out, guys, because there is those little mines. And they like to... <laughs> they like to explode on you. I'm just going to do a quick heal here so we stay at full health. We are squishy. And I believe there's another wall hidden right there. And you're going to want to be careful. You're going to want to jump down to the roots, jump down to the side. Be very careful. This is where the, uh, the cat talisman does come in handy. And again, we're just going to... All the way. Activate those guys. Boom. I uh, do like these rune fragments because you can craft the colored crystals, which do help for fall damage and gauge. So you're going to come in all the way through here. And there's going to be a little boss right here. It's very easy. And after the boss, you're going to keep going through. Do not take that teleport. You don't want to go in. And there you have it. Now we are at the Divine Tower of West Altus. So if you guys go through here without defeating the uh, boss up here, 
Ragnarok, the Lord of Blasphemy, the doors will be closed. They will not open for you. You have to make sure you grab him first. And again, we're just going to... Oh, that is nice. See, why can't we have more of these button lever things off to the side? Why do they have to all be levers with people's messages saying, lever here, I get it. There's a lever. Thank you. You know, you can't mess me up with a message here. Nah, I'm just nitpicking. So, we're going to wait for the incredibly tall elevator to come back down. And I don't know about you guys, but I love the scenery in here. It just... Uh, looks like a starry night, and uh, just love it. And we're going to head up now. As you can see, there's no real secret areas you can jump off into these uh, divine towers. If you guys know of a secret, please drop a comment down below and share with the rest of the class. But for this tower, it's just mainly going to be a straight shot up, and we're going to be looking for the fingers. Yeah, this is my favorite part of here where it gets all dark. Oh, love it. And we're reaching the top. Here we go. You know what? We'll, we'll be nice and uh, send this back down. No. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure you grab that grace right there. Keep on heading up. And it's going to be right here. So, this is where you're going to grab the Greater Rune for Ragnar. And then you're going to be able to come back down here to the Excited Grace where you just activated. If you didn't grab it, make sure you do grab it because it is a great quick teleport. And we're just going to sit down here. And write down the Great Ruins. There it is. Right cards, Great Rune. Restores HP upon attacking enemies. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys later.